No tax in retirement. <laughs> what a thing of beauty. Oh, oh. I, <laughs> I love you, IRC. That's the Internal Revenue Code. The tax code, if you will. All right, so here are these guys living on Social Security at 70. And I'm going to do another video later on today. Um, how you pay, t how you calculate your Social Security taxation. I will right, do that later on. But look at this. 13,000 of RMDs. 70,000 of Social Security. That's $83,000 they're living on. Um, off the top of my head, I can't remember why I get this capital loss, but I guess they, they have a capital loss on the book somehow. Uh, total income is 16000 bucks because only $6,000 of their Social Security is subject to taxation. That's it. So we take our... Uh, even if you have 19000 here, it doesn't matter. We take our, our standard deduction plus our personal exemption. Our taxable income, line 10, is nothing. No taxes, no taxable income. They're living off $85,000 a year. Oh, so hang tight. How do we get here? All right, so we're seeing we're living off his Social Security, and we're living off her 401k. And you can't really see it here, but... They have total net flows right here. So they got his social security is, hold on a second. His social security is about 1500 bucks a month. He's taking it early because he's a few years older than his uh, better half. All right, they have uh, some HSAs, not much. But anyway, then they got, so they only got $20,000 of income, but they need 80,000 to live on. And they need, and they're gonna pay 7,600 bucks in income taxes. Why? Because they're gonna pull $66,000 from her 401k. So they need, 85,000 of which they got 20,000 of income. That means they're going to pull the rest from her 401k, which is why they have to pay the tax. Fast forward to her first, first full year of Social Security, $70,000 of income from his and her Social Security, all right, because she took it her full retirement age. Plus, they still need $83,000 of income. So they're going to generate 12,000 from her 401k. Big fat nothing on taxes. $12,000 distribution from 401k, big fat, nothing in taxes. They're going to have total income, actually really total expenses of $3.138 million. That's basically total income. Total income of $3.18 million. Total tax, $82,000. So we take our total tax, $82,000, divide by $3.138. That's a 2.6% effective tax rate. It's a thing of beauty. And by the way, they're doing very minimal Roth conversions. I, I want to be clear. A lot of people think, oh, the Roth is, and I just, I say this all the time. The Roth isn't the end game. The Roth isn't what we're living for. You know what I'm saying? We're living so we can look like this, like here. And that a lot of times means you don't do any Roth conversions. You just live off your portfolio, your retirement, your uh, 401k while you're waiting on Social Security to kick in. Oh, by the way, we only have them getting a 3% rate of return. Man, look at this. I'm getting old, man. Look at these things. Jeez Louise. Look like Grandpa Simpson. Grandpa, uh, yeah. Uh, Grandpa Simpson. All the, what are those things called? The brown things? Anyway. So the point being is, you, Roth conversions aren't the end game. We're not shooting for Roth conversions solely to shoot for Roth conversions. We're shooting for less taxes as we get retirement. So ideally, we're shooting for the least amount of taxes once Social Security kicks in. And a lot of times, that means you don't even do Roth conversions. You just live off your portfolio while you're waiting on Social Security kicking. That's what these guys are doing. It's a freaking thing of beauty, man. I love it. No tax in retirement. I mean, just... So if your retirement plan suggests you're going to pay 25% income tax, I, I say, what the hell? Where is that? Where are you getting that number from? You're pulling out of your butt because that's what's going on because they have no taxes in retirement. All right. Love your thoughts. We'll see you.